Welcome to the BU 365 Day Challenge to do one thing every day that improves us. Sharon Hornelstrom here, and we're going to talk today about giving to get. Give what you want to receive. And I talk about this pretty often, pretty much every day I mention this to someone, especially myself in my self-talk. Like if I want to receive certain things in life, I know that I need to put those out into the world and give those away. For example, if I want to become more wise and a better version of myself, then I have to put out into the world the best possible version of myself today and a continually improving version of myself. If I want to get more wisdom, I need to do things and take action, listen to wiser people, read their books, read their information, take their courses, etc. So today, our card, I think this is from the Abraham Dix, Abraham Dix, Abraham Hicks deck as well, and it says, I am always receiving the essence of what I am giving. And I say give to get. That's what that means, or that's what that translated to in my brain. And the back says, I'll read you the back too. It says, appreciation and love and alignment to that which is source is the ultimate giving back. So to speak, for in your pain or struggle, you have nothing to give back. So if we are in lack and scarcity, pain, doubt, worry, fear, we have nothing to, to put out into the world except negative vibration and negative emotions. And if we're putting negative out, what are we getting back? Negative. If we're putting lack and scarcity out, we're getting lack and scarcity back. So we have to give from a place of abundance, right? We have to realize how, and gratitude and, and love and thankfulness, if we realize how gifted and how lucky and how special we actually are, and we give from that point, that perspective, then we'll receive that back in return because we're giving out love, appreciation, gratitude, positive energy, positive vibes, and that's what comes back to us. I think every single one of us has experienced this, right? If you have someone that you clash with and every time you're in contact with that person, there's just tons of negative energy and sparks in the air, kind of like me and my ex-husband, uh, you know what I'm talking about. And when you click with someone and you have good vibrations and you just get along and you're kind of in sync with one another, that's just the opposite. That is because you're giving out positive energy and receiving positive energy back. The truth is, whatever we put out is what we're getting back. So if you are in a situation or in a relationship or in a job or in a place where you feel bad ever and, and negative or doubtful or worried or scared or fearful, right? That means that it's not the right situation for you. It's not the right place for you. It's not the right time. Let's keep reading. Uh, what you are living is always an exact replication of your vibrational pattern of thought. Just what I was talking about. So what we're putting out is always going to match what we're getting back. So if I'm choosing to stay in an environment or a situation that doesn't feel right to me, I'm going to, I'm going to be putting out those negative emotions, whether I'm doing it consciously or not. And people are going to be picking up on that. And that's what they're going to reflect back to me. Because everyone we come in contact with is like a mirror. Every situation, every experience, it's like a mirror of what we're energetically putting out into the world. Sometimes it's just a good idea to stop, take a deep breath, and look in the mirror. And whatever you're saying in your head to yourself is what you're putting out into the world. And you have to ask yourself, is that what I want to be putting out into the world? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Okay, back to the card. Nothing could be more fair in life as you are living it. Now, that's kind of a slap in the face to many of us, right? If you're not where you want to be, and that's what this challenge is all about, it's it's because what you've been doing up to this point, and we can change any time, right? Working with a, a client that is really struggling this right with this right now. They're in a really tough spot. They've been in great spots before. They've been in worse spots before, but they're in a tough spot right now, and they're they're stuck in the loop of... The tough spot. All they can think about is the tough spot, the tough spot, the tough spot, the problems, the doubt, the worry, the fear, the lack, the scarcity, the not enough, not there yet. And as long as they're thinking about that, they won't be able to let the, the abundance and the opportunities that are all around them, just like all the rest of us, come into their life. So it doesn't feel fair, right? When you're having a hard time, and I'll echo this, when I'm struggling or having a hard time or in a challenging spot, I don't feel like life is fair. But the truth is what we're putting out is what we're getting back. And that's that's actually absolutely fair. Whether Well, depending on how you decide to find fair, but it's really fair. Uh, nothing could be more fair than the life as you are living it. 
For as you are thinking, you are vibrating, and as you are vibrating, you are attracting, and so you are always getting back the essence of what you are giving out. So whatever we're putting out, it's coming back to us. Always. Wow. Think about that today. We're going to think about that today, and, and notice as we go about our day, if how we're feeling isn't sp and the energy we're putting out because feelings are energy thoughts are energy right and they all create things in our life so um, the, some of the clearest examples of this in my life have been uh, back in the days when i was driving and i would get a little upset in traffic i noticed and sometimes what will happen is we'll actually put out so much negative energy that we'll attract an accident. Now, accidents are accidents, and we could argue about the semantics of that all day long. But the truth is, the only way we can ever get into an accident or into any situation is by attracting that. Now, like I said, I've done a lot of work on this with respect to my sudden cardiac arrest and things. Because when that happened, I was like, how, how on earth did this happen to me? I didn't say... Oh, poor me. What am I going to do? I did probably say, what am I going to do a couple of times? But I didn't say poor me. I said, what the heck is going on that this happened in my life? And it was through, you know, a couple of years of study and understanding and reading and research and trying to figure things out and understand myself better that I came to the realization that I, I literally had created that event in my life. And once I owned that, it, it tells me I can create and do and be and have anything I want. I think that was the epiphany that, yeah, we can create everything in our life, both good and super duper bad, right? So that was a huge lesson for me. And I realized that if I can actually put a dead stop to my life, then then what else can I do? I guess that's the question I asked, then what else can I do? So what do you have today for our action? And let's just think about this and 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 ruminate in this idea today and see what stories, what examples we can find from our life where this is showing up. Maybe you're, and, and it, I guarantee it's showing up anywhere we're struggling. Anytime we use the word struggle or hustle or try or a word that makes us feel less than personally empowered, this is, this is what's going on. We're focusing on not having the lack, the doubt, worry, fear, negative emotions instead of focusing on what we want or thinking about what we want. Uh, so what do you have to give? What do you give? What what could you possibly give and put out into the world in a positive way? No matter what's going on in our life, we always have things to give. During the COVID pandemic, I was like, okay, this is going to be really terrible unless I figure out a way to give back. So I started the Get Up and Go 30 Day Plus Challenge just to work on the different areas and aspects of our life and focus on what we can do instead of what we can't do. Another area of my life where I've had to really put this into play is in the area of, of pain and chronic pain. Since I was um, in my early 20s, I've had like unbelievably bizarre major health challenges. And uh, throughout all that, and, and it could spend weeks, I, I literally saw hundreds and hundreds of specialists in different areas of, of my life. And, and basically they... They figured out they couldn't figure out what was going on with me. And so I should just figure out how to live or not, right? Which is really bizarre. But um, I had to focus on the times when I wasn't in absolute pain that was breaking through my consciousness and, and not allowing me to function. And and just instead of focusing on the pain, focusing on the times. Because there were no matter how much pain we're in, there's always brief snippets of time that were not in pain. And I realized that the more I gave energy to the pain and focused and thought and feelings about the pain, the more pain I experienced. But the more I found ways to positively distract myself or focus on things that I wanted, then the pain took a backseat burner and it wasn't as intense. And over time, it got less and less and less and less intense to the point where I could actually function. I was actually bedridden in my 20s for a couple of years. And I was like, yeah, this isn't going to be my life. So, uh, and I, I can't credit the doctors with, with fixing me. I wish I could. I wish there was a magic pill or a miracle for so many of us that, that have chronic pain or chronic illnesses, but there isn't. So we have to 
make a choice and decide, am I going to let this stop me and define me and identify only with my sickness, my illness, my pain, or am I going to choose something different for myself? And it's when we take back our personal power and choose something different for ourselves that we can get back on track of creating our life. I know that's a really heavy topic for a lot of people, me included, but I, I just want people to know that they can feel better. They can do better. They can create the life that they want, even if they have chronic pain, right? All right. That was a, a side note. So today, what do you have to give? What do you have to share? And then, uh, you know, and what is the best thing? What do we all have to give ourselves, right? We all have our presence to give, our thoughts, our feelings, our experiences, our stories to share, our positive example for other people, right? Uh, we can all help other people just by loving and paying attention to them. So as a second part of that, what are you giving now? What are you giving? What are you putting out into the world right now? And be super honest with yourself. You don't have to tell me, but be super honest with yourself. When, I, when I'm super honest with myself and I look in the mirror and ask myself this question today, guess what? I'm going to have to say, hey, there's some areas and aspects of your life. You're slacking, lady. Pick up the pace and get back on track to what you know you can create and do and be and have. All right. That's our challenge for today. Any questions on this or any comments or concerns, hit me up. Like I said, it's a pretty heavy topic. But once we realize this, just like all the universal laws and things that we don't know are affecting us and we understand it even just a little bit, over time, we'll start to use this and the other universal laws and the other global not global but universal things that apply to human beings and life in our favor and that's what we always want to do we always want the universe working in our favor at least i do all right have an awesome day and i'll be with you tomorrow